Hello and welcome to part three of our series. I'm John Tandy. So far, we've opened up a Pro Tools tracking session in Persona Studio One via AAF Export for Final Mix. And in the second video, we imported a rough cut of a video into Persona Studio One for which we created sound effects and placed them accordingly, then exported the audio via AAF for final assembly in Adobe Premiere Pro. In this video, we'll import the AAF into Premiere and add it to our existing rough cut. So let's get started by first launching Premiere. Okay, so let's launch Premiere. Is that like a pair of floating underwear in the desert? I, <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I look at this picture every day and I cannot for the life of me figure out what that is supposed to be. If you know what it is, please comment because I have no idea. Okay, so our project is called Stooges Slap Test because that's, you know, obviously what we based it on. So let's open up the project and our sequence will show up. Uh, the sequence is slaps at bar for import because we set this up for an AAF experiment. So let's just take a look at just a quick spot. Take your hat off. Oh! Okay, so you know we need to bring in the sound effects and the sound effects are in our AAF. So all we have to do is import. This is so easy. Now that we set it up, I actually set up a fresh folder because I didn't want to confuse it with anything else. And everything is all in one folder. Now, if you look at the characters here in these titles, it added characters. Um, the word uh, trim uh, and then some numbers and convert it because we did convert it. Now, don't be concerned with that. When those audio files show up in Premiere, they will appear exactly the way they did in your Studio One sequence. So let's just import that now takes all of eight seconds. Let's go to the media. Let's go to slaps at bar, the folder that's contained in. And look at that. Look at the titles, exactly the way they were. Okay, so now the AIF is now a sequence. It's a premiere sequence. So let's open up that sequence and we'll take a look. All the sound effects we did appear exactly as they did in Studio One. All right, so now what we're going to do then is go back to our first sequence with the film. And we're gonna take this audio, the slaps at the bar, the actual sound effects, and all we have to do now is just drag it in. Now, it will reside as a nested sequence. If you're not familiar with the term, you're not familiar with Premiere Pro. A nested sequence is just basically a subsequence that appears as one track. So it looks like there's a video track and an audio track, but if you double click on it, you can see the contents of that subsequence, which is the uh, sound effects session. So before we play this, I made a wonderful mistake and I'm glad I made that mistake here. Let's listen to the pop. They're off. What did I do wrong? I'll tell you what I did wrong. When I set up this sequence for the film edit, I offset the sequence by three frames. So then when I set up my Studio One session, I offset that by three frames, not realizing that it was already offset. There was actually a three frame head on the film. So I didn't have to offset it. But what's great is as part of the AAF, there is a marker for the offset. There is a marker at exactly three frames. So if you count it, take a look. There's one, two, three. See that? So all I have to do is take my razor blade, cut off that three frame head, Remove it, and everything should line up. Let's see. The pop is fine. So this clearly underlines in red your need for a slate or a two pop. Whether or not you have your offsets written down, mistakes happen. And this is just another safeguard that is absolutely necessary. So now all that is left to do is watch the movie and enjoy it. Here we go. What are you doing? I'm cracking nuts. You're, dent you're putting marks in the bar. Pop look at this. I love nuts. These are props. You're not supposed to really eat them. We got. Don't eat any more nuts, please. Give me that. Uh, Give me that hammer. One Give me that hammer. Take your hat off. Take your hat off. Oh! You want to crack nuts? You never heard of one of these? Come here! Oh! 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 
What's that? That's also a nutcracker. How does it work? Yeah. See, you open his mouth, you stick the nut in. Well, let me see There's that. something stuck in there. Take it out. Ah! 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 Now sit down. What are you doing? I'm Abraham Lincoln. Come here. Here, a souvenir. You know, it's nice when we can get together like this. I'll give you nice. How? My head. Yeah, maybe this will make you feel better. <laughs> Say, you got another one of those cigars? Sure, I got a cigar. Take your glasses off. Buy your own cigars. Oh, what'd you do that for? Oh, oh. That's why. Oh. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything left? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> you hit me with a pipe. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't hook my nostrils with the pliers yet. Oh, we didn't do <laughs> I could do the same thing to you. Give me that. Okay, so that's how it works when shuttling media to Premiere. And while other editing stations support AFF, they sometimes differ in what formats they support. For example, Premiere Pro does not support embedded AAF audio. Pro Tools only supports import of 16-bit audio, while it does support export of 24-bit. I, I can't figure that one out. In the next video, I'll cover AAF format compatibility and do's and don'ts in Studio One, Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, and Pro Tools. I'm John Tandy. Thank you for watching.